Hey there, lovely soul. This is Infinity and welcome to the Gemini April 2021 full moon reading. Welcome cross watchers. Welcome if this is your moon rising and of course your sun sign. I'm Infinity, shaman, mystic, psychic, physical, empath, medical medium, distance, energy healer, ascension coach, channeler, medium, and divinely guided artist. And uh, you can check out my website at thehealingbutterfly.org. I have awesome uh, services that I provide for you and your pets and children. I work worldwide. I have ebooks and my podcast and um, also links to my medium profile for articles and stories. And reach out if you have any questions or if you would like to work with me. My email is infinity at thehealingbutterfly.org. And without further ado, we're going to get right into your full moon through new moon reading. It is the full moon today. It is the 26th of April coming to you. Um, and we're going to get started here with the moonology cards. Oh, there we go. I was like waiting, waiting, waiting. <laughs> And then each of these readings have been a little different with, with whatever cards, um, Oracle and Tarot that I've used. So if you watch these other videos for this full moon um, time period between the new moon, you're going to see some different cards being used. So it's been pretty fun that way. All right, here we are with the North Node card. Step out of your comfort zone. Step out of your comfort zone, Gemini. Okay. I'm hearing seeing things differently. Seeing things differently. Let's go to the major arcana of the angel tarot. Just this is just the major arcana portion. This is um with the archangels. Uh, this is the angel tarot. So in the angel tarot, the major arcana are the archangels. So I'm being guided here. So let's see what we get. I'm seeing, I'm hearing, seeing things differently. The world with Archangel Michael. Wow. A job well done. Joy, entertainment, and gratitude. The path towards enlightenment. So there's kind of a sense of completion here um let's get into the archangel oracle now um time for seeing things differently that just keeps coming up spiritual understanding and sensitivity so archangel uh raziel i'm bringing you uh, esoteric information and symbols and helping you understand spiritual truths, uh, spiritual understanding. So yeah, like I said, seeing things differently, stepping out of your comfort zone. Oh, and here's that world card. Sorry, I didn't show it to you earlier. The world card with Archangel Michael. So, and then sensitivity with Haniel. You're extra sensitive to energies and emotions right now. Honor yourself and your feelings. Okay, so I'm hearing one more. Two more. Okay. Um, compassion. So we have compassion and sensitivity. Oh, boy. <laughs> compassion with Zadkiel. Soften your heart with respect to the situation and all people involved, including yourself. So have patience. Have compassion. Um, give yourself time to process. You are coming into a new kind of frame of reference. Maybe you've had your, you're going through your spiritual awakening or your dark night of the soul. Um, and you're coming into new spiritual understanding because we have sensitivity and compassion coming out for you. Gemini. Um... And this could also have to do with 
how others see you. Patience. I didn't see this one here. Patience. That's right. I saw that other one fall. Joe feel your dreams are blooming more rapidly than you realize. Still, they need nurturing and uh, patience. But I'm what I'm feeling here with this is. Uh, how do we put? How do we put the sensitivity, compassion, patience? Wow. So we definitely need to. Give yourself time in this new world that's being revealed to you to get your get your feet on the ground, get things settled and working with others in this new capacity, stepping out of your comfort zone. Maybe, you know, going slow isn't your usual style. Um, But that's what's needed. We have spiritual understanding, compassion, sensitivity, and patience. So this is all saying we need to slow it down, step back, assess the situation, give yourself time to... Oh, give yourself time to transmute what's gone on your aha moments your healing that you've already taken that's already taken place your new discoveries in spirituality then the truth um and if you're tr if you're trying to get other people to go there to see things you know to, if you're if you're if and they're not or they're looking at you like um <laughs> that's really kind of normal in this like when you go through spiritual awakening you get into your what i call universal understanding um and again we have spiritual understanding um and spiritual awakening i like to blend those together uh universal or sorry universal understanding because that's what spiritual understanding really is it's a universal understanding and It's like, I'm seeing this like being in a room with a blind person and shutting off all the lights and turning on all the lights affects them in no way, shape, or form. <laughs> and that's what happens when you go through your transformation, spiritual understanding, spiritual awakening, aha moments, that sort of thing with reality the truth, who you are, what's going on in the world, what is connected, what's real, what's not, what's important, what isn't, all those things that start to rise up, it's natural to want to share that with people because it's like you've made this amazing discovery, but to people who have not seen any of that, they you can turn on the lights on and on and on and on and they're just it's not going to happen it's it's dark where they're at and i'm not saying people that, that haven't gone through that are dark i'm just saying that it's like the spiritual weight they're still asleep so you can turn the lights on and off a bazillion times around somebody who's asleep and it's not going to matter same thing so that's kind of coming out here too um also this is not a something that like begins and ends this is once it begins it's ever changing ever going ever evolving so you're never done with uh where are we going you're not i keep looking i want to get another archangel tarot because I keep looking at it. So I'm being guided here. But you're never done. You're okay. There we go. The Hermit coming out. Card number nine with Raziel. So we have Raziel coming out for you twice. So I would look to connect with Raziel. Spend time in quiet meditation, spiritual teaching, self discovery. So yeah, this is definitely about learning new, learning new things about the world, spirituality, and all that good stuff, and um, needing to take time, needing to go within, be that hermit, and wait for people to come to you. So the hermit is always shown with a lantern. 
and basic well not always but usually in most tarot the hermit will be shown um if it's any type close to traditional tarot you'll see it you'll see a lantern and the lantern signifies putting a light out and waiting for people to see that light and come to the light and not going after people it's not the her it's the hermit isn't the wanderer with his light trying knock knocking on doors and trying to talk to people um, to get them to see the light. It's about having the light on and when other people awaken, when other people get to that point for them then to come and find you. And so that's part of it too. Um, we have, and that's the nine, the nine card, in, the ninth card in the major arcana. So we're definitely speaking to a light worker here. Um, somebody who we're going to get into light seer. No. Yeah, let's get into lights here. Lights here, tarot. Um, but yeah, this is definitely, it's kind of like being patient with yourself, being patient with others, with your new discovery and what's going on and what you're learning. Sensitivity, just patience is definitely that last one. Compassion, sensitivity, patience. Um, also for some of you, you could be dealing with a situation with somebody that's, you know, kind of going through a hard time, really kind of leaning on you, um, or you have in the past and you're still kind of dealing with that energy a little bit. Maybe the need to cut cords would, is an idea here. We have seven of wands and ace of swords, eight of cups in reverse, king of swords, knight of pentacles. Let's get one more. And the wheel. So seven of wands, ace of swords, eight of cups in reverse, uh king of swords knight of pentacles in reverse and then the wheel so these two cards here um what i'm picking up here is just greater spiritual insight um rapid fire stuff kind of needing to come in and may or coming in activations psychic awareness this kind of stuff um unraveling of past programs this eight of cups in reverse just shows and it's really backing up this hermit energy with staying put um tr journeying but from within not physically journeying um and receiving higher level information again not not moving not going forward this knight of cups is in reverse yet we have the world the sorry the wheel is coming up straight up so that's telling me and we're going to get a clarifier here but that's telling me that um that we have a lot again the wheel is things are turning because we have the seven of wands she's meditating she's 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 attempting to rise above the normal way of thinking and in doing so she's getting a lot of energy coming and when i say she it could be she he it doesn't matter but she's getting a lot of energy coming through and she needs to be still to process so this is inner work inner business the hermit in reverse we have the eight of cups in re sorry the hermit and then the eight of cups in reverse the knight of pentacles in reverse and they are to stay that way sometimes they switch all right let's see what we got here Daughter of Pentacles in reverse. Justice upright. Um, Four of Wands in reverse. Daughter of Swords in reverse. Seven of Pentacles, or sorry, Six of Pentacles in reverse. And then Nine of Pentacles in reverse. Wow. 
So two daughters coming through here in reverse. So we have Daughter of Pentacles um, coming in under the Seven of Wands and she's in reverse. She's already stationary. Um, oh, sorry, that's the Mother, Mother of Pentacles. So you have Mother of Pentacles with the Seven of Wands. She's already station. She's already stationary, but she's in reverse. We have Justice with the Ace of Swords, Four of Wands with the Eight of Cups, Daughter of Swords with the King of Swords, Knight of Pentacles with Six of Pentacles, um, and the Wheel with the nine of pentacles in reverse so we need to be in a place of being comfortable in the body it feels like there's like discomfort in the body you're out of sorts. You're not in alignment. Um, energy is a factor. Maybe you have a chronic condition, um, chronic pain, chronic fatigue, some type of chronic thing happening here. Um, you've been doing work on yourself, enter maybe some basic energy healing, yoga, meditation. It's relieved some of it. But you're like, I want a major transformation to happen. Like in my brain, it's happening, but in the body, it's not. Um, and that's just because, and that's great that you ha that you've had that so far. Because you have the world card coming out, this world card being shown to me by by Michael again. He's He's basically saying there has been a lot of work. There has been a lot of progress. You have gone through a cycle. There is this big transition, yet there's more. There's more. And um, spiritual understanding, um, I'm also feeling, is has to do with you understand like the chemistry of the body, the energy, the quantum physics of the cells and the what attaches to your body and how that works. And um, I would really uh, consider deep energy healing. Um, of course, I would recommend my services, but um, f tap in with Raziel, tap in with Michael and and whomever else and ask to be guided ask to, to know where you should go and what you should do because that's what it feels like here it feels like you're definitely in process and you need to um there will be balance it's coming this like balancing is coming but there's in the physical things are, are out of sorts. So, so again, sensitivity with your body, no, especially during full moon time and is a big one where the body can get, be extra tired or feel extra pressure. There's just more gravity on us. Um, definitely also with the, with the um, stargates as well. There's just times where we'll physically feel things more. Um, so, and just cosmically, cosmic weather and all, there's all sorts of factors that come into how we feel the way we feel and, and all that good stuff um, aside from what's going on internally. Another thing I'm being guided to and pointed to is my ebook, The Importance of Cord Cutting and the companion meditation that comes with that. I highly recommend you take a look at um, because this will help you be in a proactive state, do inventory on your energy and map out who and what you need to cut um, or reset energy with that will help um, how you feel internally, how the body feels, your timelines going forward, everything. Because again, we have this wheel. We have the wheel 
we have forward movement we have this happening here we have this nine of pentacles below the wheel nine of pentacles always comes to me as a portal as a gateway um and it's in reverse so there is and so is the six of pentacles on on that route pentacles representing um uh, earth and needing to be grounded and connected with Gaia. Let's get some. Whoops. Let's get some crystal cards here. I want to see what the crystal cards have to say. Oh, oh, let's see. Self expression with water and creativity. Wow, this creativity card keeps coming up. Um, Self-expression with water and Laramar. Oh God, Laramar. It's expensive, but it's absolutely beautiful. Um, and it is kind of a turquoise kind of blue color crystal. And then creativity with fire. So you have water and fire coming out here with Big Spite. Really interesting. Um, two elements that are very uh, clearing of energy. Water is the first one that is he healing and clearing of energy. Um, and I highly, oop, crystal blessing, working with crystals with Grandmother Crystal Diva. Cathedral Library is the crystal for that one. So, crystals another major healing um healing tool that we get from gaia to help so you're getting all the elements what do we have here medicine drum sacred healing okay yeah <laughs> definitely i'm hearing to keep going definitely painting a picture here healing needs to happen through the elements working with the elements and um will definitely help you so meditating in water, going into a bath um, or the ocean, a river would be best. Truth and integrity, summer. Um, so we have a and sacred geometry, the flower of life. Um, and turquoise is the crystal. So truth and integrity, searching, seeking the truth. Don't let the, don't let obstacles stop you. Don't let your physicality stop you. You're close to the truth is what I'm hearing. And ancestor healing, another healing card with trees and amber. One more card I'm hearing. Wow. A lot of these crystal cards for you, Gemini. And the moon with divine feminine. So. And that is black moonstone. Oh, okay. So. Balancing. Okay. So this makes sense. The divine feminine coming through sensitivity, patient, compassion. I'm surprised we didn't get the nurture card. Um, but. Uh, really needing to balance and we have these the mother i was just pointed to the mother of pentacles the daughter of of what was this swords um feminine divine feminine so definitely the um the balancing of the divine feminine or healing the divine feminine. We have sacred healing. We have crystal blessing, self-expression with water, creativity with fire. So, um, so working with fire, burning incense, burning sage, Palo Santo, lighting candles. If you can have a bonfire, that would be awesome and really connect with the element of fire. I play with fire every day um and i have my it's nothing major but i have my little bowl here of look at this of um sage and palo santo and as you can see i have flowers all over the place so i have my dried flowers i'll put in there um and bay leaves i highly suggest getting bay leaves and burning them i just got six ounces of bay leaves on um amazon the other day it's a huge bag with these 
awesome bay leaves you put it in tea you cook with it you burn it smells amazing so good and it's very clearing of energy but number one would be water water is the most healing we're mostly water so drinking a lot of water being in water healing in water meditating in water all of that good stuff is um definitely a deal and i'm i've actually recently been guided to provide a new service where you're um, with the healing is done when you're in water so you're in the bathtub we're obviously not naked but we're on we every healing i do i'm online with people so instead of being in bed or most of the where it's always at um it would be in water so that hasn't even dropped yet i just in the last couple of days started getting the information on that so you may be interested in working with me with that but aside from that going to water being in water going to the bath or any any place you can hot water is best because it, without chlorine so if if you're like oh my saw my jacuzzi or whatever the apartment jacuzzi it's like well the problem with that is that there's chemicals in it so it's, it is good for you but but be sure to really cleanse and clean yourself off after being in pools and jacuzzis and stuff that have chemicals and chlorine and other people's energy that's mixed in there, you know, because other people get into those unless it's private. If it's private and you can regulate it, that's one thing. Um, but like uh, natural hot springs, oh my God, that would be the best. Um but ideally you have a bathtub it's by yourself it's private and you can regulate the water and just work on being comfortable in hot water because that transmutes a lot of negative energy but we definitely want to work on further healing meditation cutting cords clearing energy being um creating a physical body where the where the spiritual understanding the energy of spirit can come through clearer so you have to see yourself like that like like the clearer you are in your body the more that can come through and reflect in and and come out of you the the denser you are in energy and negativity and stuff that still had you know connections to people and situations and and especially if you have a chronic condition a chronic pain chronic anything if you're take medicine for anything on a on a any kind of regular basis that means there's dissonance in the body something isn't working right or some things usually is more than one and that needs to be fixed and rectified so you can be as clear as possible because pain, injury, trauma, any of those things, whether it's the physical, the energetic, the mental, the emotional bodies is going to cause a dissonance, cause a friction in the body. That's when we feel pain. That's when we feel uncomfortable. That's when we feel anxiety and stress. We can't sleep. We have problems with our metabolism. We're... Um, we worry you know shit like that so all of that needs to get into balance and and um and remember step out of your comfort zone so start to think in ways of how to do things differently um you know like crystal healing we got we got um grandmother diva with um with crystals so if you're somebody who you know in the past have been like ah, crystals you know that's just so silly and hokey pokey and whatever because a lot of people just do not understand the crystal thing they don't they're just ignorant they don't get it and hopefully you're not one of these people hopefully you've discovered crystals or at least you think they're pretty and you have them around but dive into the properties of them the metaphysical healing properties and and why this is what this is and what this does and how it works with you and your energy this is one of my most favorite the universe is in this amethyst <laughs> the universe is in this amethyst um <laughs> But each crystal has a, the reason why they're so awesome, let me show you another awesome crystal since I'm showing off crystals, 
is that they are they are what they are they don't change they things don't affect them they don't change their their frequency the way we change our frequency um they they absorb energy and they they need to be cleared but they're they're um like stationary they're always what they are we fluctuate in our energy all the time they are stat their their energy I'm, i can't find the word for it but it's it it is a a pure energy that stays what it is all of the time because it doesn't have the components that we have that that make us change in our in our energy okay so <sighs> um want to get one more card it's the tools from the from the our uh archetype oracle um there's also the places the selves and the initiations but we're just working with the tools and your tool is the vessel so there we go so the vessel the container the body the body needs to be worked with um uh, let me read this for you. I'm not surprised at all to get the vessel. So the vessel is is your container, is your body, is how you, everything about you. So um, okay. The body, the container, the cup. The vessel may be the most powerful archetypal form on earth. It is everywhere. Cups hold liquid. Stoves hold fire. Our bodies hold organs. Our home holds families. Through the simple act of separation, the vessel protects what it contains. Nests protect eggs. Savings accounts protect our earnings. Even the planets are contained within their circular orbit. When this card appears, it's time to... Uh, assess what is being held together and how is the vessel too tight too loose broken empty full or perhaps there is no vessel at all and the contents spill in every direction it is natural for structures to be formed and eventually fall apart the vessel has a life cycle that must be honored is it time for you to build break or repair you must find out so for you it's talking specifically about the body or and the mental body the container of your physical body and your mental body needing to come into alignment yep that's it that is it gemini and um those are your messages so please seek energy healing and clearing working with the elements water fire crystals working with um music dancing um healing sacred healing working with raziel michael um sensitivity patience compassion for yourself through this process it is a ongoing process that's never ending uh if you don't have a healer yet please check out my website thehealingbutterfly.org see if i may be right for you and uh reach out with any questions that you may have on how i may work with you and um, other than that, I want to wish you a beautiful full moon through a new moon and infinite love and blessings. And until next time, bye for now.